and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. They call me Mitchell, and this is your energy forecast, intuitive development, and spiritual teaching for today, Tuesday, October the 14th, 2014. As always, thank you for taking time to watch, retweet, post, subscribe, become a fan, do all that good stuff we do on social media. Sip your coffee, got lots of bright yellow going on today. Mm. It's a fabulous day, I will say that. So, um, still very excited about so many things going on right now. So, staying in high vibration. So today is number 14. Let me dive right in. Number 14 is our temperance card in the tarot. So, as spirit communicates to me, again, we're echoing that today and I'll say tomorrow because the numbers add up to it as well. But today, we are being tested, we are being tried, we're being heated and cooled, heated and cooled trying to just develop that, that resistance and strength and growth to all the stuff that goes on in and around us. 14 adds up to number 5. 1 plus 4 equals 5. 5 is our faith card, our hierophant, our pope, and other decks. But it is about our religious belief, our spirituality, our dogma, the constructs with which we live in, our belief system, pretty much all that. And keep in mind that 14 temperance and 5 faith card, keep that in mind for tomorrow as well because we're having overlapping days. Add up all the numbers for today, 10, 14, 20, 14, and you're going to get the number 13, which is the death card, which is about ending, bringing things to a close, releasing things. It's tilling the garden so you can put something new in, plant something new. It, harvest is done. It's time to rip out the roots of what you just planted this season. It's ready for the fall harvest. You know, what, what's new? What's coming? Door closes, door opens. That's what that boils down to. Light going on, light going off. I love it. So... 13 also boils down to number 4, and number 4, like I talked about yesterday, is our Hierophant, not our Hierophant, our uh, Emperor. <laughs> I'm like, every, hey, hold on. It's our Emperor, and he is this wonderfully balanced male. The number 4 is very feminine, so attach that to this strong, powerful Emperor energy, and there's great balance within this guy. Lights back on. So, enjoying it. Thank you very much. So, enjoy that balanced masculine energy that you have available to you. This ending of that you have available to you. The spirituality that's working. This uh, temperance that's, that's working through you as well. The card I pulled yesterday for today was the heart card, which is often about love. You know, emotional love, um, connection, commitment. And the five of wands, which is often about fussing, fighting, arguing, the same leaves on a branch beating each other up. And it's usually in the realms of, since it's wands, spirituality, sexuality, creativity. New card for today, the 14th of October, is the going to be Lenormand is, ah, I knew it, because I did a little, little read on me and things to sign, aka agreements and contracts, and this came up, you know, because this card is trusting your intuition. This is the moon, very powerful, very feminine. Trust that intuition. It's also number five, echoing with the, the number today. It's also eight of hearts, which is that beautiful eight of cups for me, that man walking off into the distance, kind of a hermit feel. So truly resonate with this card. I'm hearing the word cycles too, so this is about cycling through things. So embrace the cycle. Um, you know, Cosmic Caffeine Crew, we chat with each other uh, probably on a regular basis via group text. And we were talking about, you know, upgrades and feeling down and cycles. And a lot of times you'll see your friends cycle. Think about, you know, especially because most of you are women, but men, if you're connected to women, you know that they go through their monthly cycle. And the moon is connected and attached to that, 28 days, blah, blah, blah. But also, I'm sure most of you know, if you get a group of women together, like that work in an office situation, just like that scientific experiment where they put like 20 metronomes ticking back and forth, eventually they all start ticking the same very quickly. Same with women. Cycles will line up sometimes. Sometimes it'll be a little before, a little after, but they start lining up and shifting and adjusting, especially when they're around each other a lot. I hear like in families where there's like a mom and several daughters, they line up. Poor man in the house. Didn't mean to offend. I'm going to take a sip. I can only imagine. I will say this, growing up, my mom was the only woman in the house. I was the one she got to share all the, the stuff with when she would be upset or whatever. She'd say, yep, I'm on my period. Yep, I'm going through menopause. And I had sympathetic menopause with my mother. I, had, I was in Nashville, Tennessee, as she was going through menopause in Florida. And I told her, I said, I keep waking up with these hot flashes and sweat. She goes, oh, that's my menopause. Um, 
And she doesn't know fully that I do all of this work, um, but she understands that she and I are both very intuitive people. We've talked about dreams before. So, long explanation for that moon card. Tarot card for today is going to be Ace of Swords. So, uh, I love this. So trust your intuition with this new thought, new idea, new thought process. You know, this this beautiful beginning, this beautiful start. And I, that's a big echo for me and what I'm going through right now with agreements and contracts and stepping up to that. So I am trusting. I am trusting very much so. Tomorrow is the 15th. 15 is our devil card. Being trapped, being stuck in place, fearful to move forward. Uh, maybe addiction, maybe chained down. Also, 15 equals six. Six is our lover's card. Six is, you know, unions coming together, that, that binding. All the numbers added up for tomorrow, the 15th, is 14, which I just talked about, temperance, and five, which I just talked about, that um, faith card. The Lenormand for tomorrow is going to be the sun card, and this one's coming up too. So from the moon to the sun. It's interesting because in Terra, it goes star, moon, sun, but in Lenormand, it goes sun, moon. So it's like the sun is bright, and then we go back into the moon phase. So it's interesting they go backwards here. And this is Ace of Diamonds, which is Ace of Coins, which that is about, you know, money, start, beginning. There's Sebastian. He's back there. So I love that um, for me. I love that for me because, you know, here's this Ace of Swords today. Thought process. Tomorrow it manifests Ace of Coin. New beginning, new job, new career. You know what I'm saying? We'll see. Tomorrow could be the day. Um, and I keep hearing next, um, when is the 23rd? Uh, 1, 20, 1, 2, 3, next Thursday. Big solar eclipse. I think Ray um, was the one talking about that on our Cosmic Caffeine. If you do not watch and listen to Cosmic Caffeine Sunday night, go back and listen to it. Powerful. One of the most powerful shows we've ever done. Um, energetically, messages, things coming through. Very powerful. So, again, for tomorrow, the Sun card, and then Terra is going to be Four of Wands. This is about peace, um, uh, weddings, marriages. This can be that union as well. So, bright, sunny, peaceful images going on there. So, I really, really, really like that energy for tomorrow for myself, but also for you guys listening. So, and I love how the blues were the, the, blues were the sword and the moon, and then this bright, shiny thing for tomorrow. Now, the message for today... Um, I believe I was listening on Abraham Hicks yesterday about fear and the thing that you want and stuff like that. And then Paul Selig, his book this morning when I was reading, was kind of echoing this too. But, you know, many of us each day we wake up and we know where our job is and we get in our car or we walk if we live in a bigger kind of a metropolitan city and we walk or drive to our job. And on the way there, we're not fearful of anything, that we're not going to get there, that it's not going to be there, that when I get there, the doors are going to be closed and the key won't fit. We're not fearful of those things. Some of us, you know, there could be that. I, I can't say a blanket statement because you might be in fear of losing your job, etc. But you know the building's still going to be there. You know it's not going to be destroyed. You know your job position is going to be there whether you fulfill it or not. But once we start creating, manifesting, and I'll use myself as an example, you know, right now, you know, TV is calling. You know, I am so excited to take the brand of who Mitchell is and expand it as, as big as I can right now. And I know it will get bigger and bigger. And I can see the job. I can see where it is. I know it's there. Now, I've left my house and I'm on the way. And along the way, I might get scared. I might have to go through a rainstorm or I might have to go through a neighborhood that's kind of dark and, and scary. And if as you're traveling towards what you want, if things get scary, what do many of us do? We, we stop believing that it's there. We turn around and go home to a place that's comfortable to, or familiar. Sometimes it's not comfortable. You, sometimes you want to get out of it. But in driving to your normal everyday job, you never doubt that it's not going to be there. You keep driving. You keep going. You may not like your job and stuff like that but you know it's still going to be there and you end up going so hold on to the thought just like you know your main job is there when you want to create a new relationship a new job you know new career um, you know something new in your spirituality hold on to the fact that you know it's already there waiting for you because every possibility is out there it's just about you holding your attention on it and creating the emotion that it's already there and that you already have it um, again, sharing just in my own personal life, you know, for the for the last seven days, every morning that I have, you know, awoken, woke up, every morning I have waked up, 
what is the proper word? Each morning when I rise and open my eyes, I am smiling. I am, you know, and this, you know, typically, you know, sometimes I have those crazy dreams, but I am smiling with the with the thought of where I'm going. It is more real and than anything I've ever felt. And I hold on to that. You know, last night I'm receiving papers and it's gobbledygook contract stuff. And I'm looking at it going, I have no idea what this means. I tap into spirit. I immediately ask for help from friends who know more than I do. You know, I'm securing entertainment lawyers uh, are going to be calling them and making secure. That I'm, I'm, I'm being bold and asking questions and saying, is this how it always is? What can we do to adjust this? You know, and I'm aligning. This is Paul Selig's book. I'm aligning myself with wisdom. I am in my wisdom. I am wisdom as I move forward in this. Um, and, you know, and knowing that I am being guided, being directed and that it's just flowing so easily and this is such a beautiful lesson especially because this is the work I'm doing and it's like moving into the work that I'm doing so very exciting so for you when you get on that journey to something new this ace of swords you know whatever it may be this ace of coins whatever it may be new hold that thought of what you want and then the emotion that goes along with it the joy of having it that it's already there and continue when you get fearful you know don't turn around and go back home to where it's familiar and maybe comfortable but could you know find that joy and that peace right there if you need to pull over to the side of the road and take a moment and breathe do it Set your GPS back on, put on some lovely Ariana Grande, you know, music, break free, and just keep moving forward. So, all that being said, um, check out my website, intuitivemessenger.org. The prefix spread is there. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm really caught up. Those of you who just purchased them, there's, I know there's one of you who are waiting on it. I've been over, no, I started to say, uh, I started to use the word overwhelmed, and I have not been, I've been overjoyed, so I want to make sure I'm in a great place of peace and calm when I do your reading, um, but uh, I'm here in my home until Friday when I head out to Dallas for four days for the TerraCon, Terra Conference, so I'm excited about that, but I will still do the readings when I'm out there, the daily videos. I will not be there Sunday night with Jamie, which will be her birthday, and I tell you, there's a reason I'm not there, especially on a day of her birthday. Spirit has orchestrated that for some unusual reason. And then, of course, the 20th Monday is Evan's birthday, um, so it's it's very powerful. It's very interesting that I am not there. All this, you know, planned months and months and months ago. So, thank you. Check out website, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, all the good stuff. I'm there. I'm posting. Thank you for all your comments on here and Facebook. You know, all the positive comments of lifting me up as I'm on this journey. And I'm so excited that you guys have been with me, you know, for a week, for a month, for the two years that I've been doing this, for the four years that I've been, five years that I've been actively doing this professionally because it's just going to get so exciting very soon. And, and somebody sent me an email that they keep having a dream about me like arriving in their hometown with Jamie. And I love that. It was Jamie and I. And she picked us up at the airport. We were like on a book signing tour. And, I, and, and she kept saying, you were so tall in the dream. Well, I'm almost 6'2". I've always been 6'1", but recently they measured me and said, you're 6'1 and a half. So I have grown. I attribute that to Pilates and yoga for re-expanding me. Um, so yes, I know I will be on a book tour and we'll be doing tours for purely, you know, social interaction and then psychic work and, and all this kind of fun stuff. So I am so ready to become that uh, per public personality that right now I am, but it's this level and it's just going to get bigger and bigger. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Namaste to you all. Have an amazing day. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.